Hello, and welcome to Back Day. My method here for these videos is going to be a an audio clip set over the video clip. So what I'm doing here is I already went through and I edited this whole video and I put all my clips together. I cut out the audio because there's music and I wasn't talking. And then I'm going to rewatch the video, I'm recording it, and then I'm talking over it. That way I can explain what you're seeing. So to get started here, we're doing back day, and uh, that involves some rows. A lot of row machines will have a seat that you can pull up to and just slide onto. And there may be other machines or anything that you can do this with. And I think it's the preferred method, if you can do it, because it avoids you having to bring one of your legs over the seat. Which, you know, it's kind of like a little task to do. You could fall when you do it if you don't have that great of balance. So sliding forward like so is, I think, one of the best methods for getting onto the seat. And then for doing the workout, you know, I just kind of sit there and, you know, hold my legs down. And for myself with core control, I don't really need to hold on to much, but you can if you need to. And that's always an option. And so now for getting back out. You just do the same process in reverse, basically. You'll back up, and then what you want to do is move your legs, um, you know, as far back as you can. Kind of bend them back. That way, when you scoot your butt all the way back on, they'll be kind of in the same place where you had taken them off initially. Then you just put your legs back on the seat, and then you're back in your chair. Perfect transfer. Next here is bent over rows. So you can't really do these with dumbbell or with barbells, but you can do them with dumbbells. I prefer using kettlebells. They're, they're a little bit more space friendly, so they won't hit my chair as much maybe if I'm using a dumbbell. And so what you just saw is my hand, I was holding the bench at first and then my chair second. Those are two ways that I do it. If you find another way of, you know, something to hold on to to leverage yourself, you can go ahead and do that. And now here for pull-ups. Uh, initially to start, I'm showing my seatbelt is very tight. So some people may think, okay, I need to tighten my seatbelt down when I do these pull-ups, but that actually makes things worse because it keeps your torso to your legs at 90 degrees and it'll kind of make your body, your, your chest will go away from the bar. So when you do this, you want to have it loose. And also using a Smith machine is very useful because you're in your chair. So you need something that you can reach from your chair, but something high enough that when your chair is off the ground, you know, it, you have enough room to do the movement. So Smith machine is, is very nice for that. And so here you can see with the seatbelt loose and my legs are more, not entirely, but more straight down from my torso, which will help with uh, just the movement overall, hitting the right target muscles, the lat latissimus dorsi. Uh, okay, so now this is hyperextension. And with this, uh, you kind of have to have some lower back control mus muscle wise So if you don't then pretty much you could stop the video here But if you do this is it's very nice workout keeps your lower back strong and It's also good. It'll kind of help you with um, like, like, like picking stuff up off the ground stuff like that and so as you can see the video is over and I'm still talking so this is, this is how it's going to be a little bit informal. However, yeah, I'm going for more of what I say and then what you see. Nothing too like amazing, right? You just want to see the video. You want to see the movements, a little bit of explanation. And we're good. Four minute video. Thank you for watching.